Guys, today we're going to be doing a hammer 1275 basic conversion kit for a 2002 883 Sportster. As you see, I got it kind of torn apart. I already tore it down. Uh, if you don't know how to tear it down, there's literally hundreds of videos on YouTube about that. So I didn't want to waste much time. Uh, I got the wheels off of it too because they're a powder coat and I'm doing a chain conversion, hence the uh, uh, chain sprocket on there instead of the belt drive. But here's what you get in the basic conversion kit. You got two jugs with the pistons already installed. Uh, you get a set of new spark plugs and a new jet kit for the bike. Uh, if you have a 07 or newer fuel injection bike, they do a little bit different stuff, but uh, there's tons of options for this package. Uh, you also get brand new 2000, Dyna 2000i ignition module for it. Stock one's just not good enough to keep up with it. They're actually usually a little too advanced for the uh, increased compression ratios and will cause detonation. So they give you a new one of those and a Kometic gasket kit for the whole top end. And that's really all there is to it. Stock 883 will work for a 1275 conversion. Uh, they use a higher tensile strength uh, steel liner for the jugs to keep be able to get a lot thinner spigot out of the bottom of it without them to worry about it cracking. This takes it from a three inch stock bore up to a 3.6 inch bore. Um, let's see. Let me open this one up and I'll show you guys how big of a difference it really is. You can see them side by side. So, stock bore versus the new bore. You can see how much bigger the liners are, everything. Uh, it's, it's a really big difference. Uh, this should make crazy amount of difference in uh, riding the bike and everything. It's the biggest noticeable difference at least. It reuses stock heads. I'm going to clean those up before throwing them back on. But this is pretty much all you got to tear apart. It's, it's pretty simple. Just kind of pay attention. Uh, I would highly recommend getting one of these. A climber's manual. Uh, basically like a Shilton's manual for the bike world. If you don't if you've never done this before, it makes a huge difference. Lots of pictures and everything like that. Lots of information on uh, torque specs and torque patterns and everything like that. So, uh, not really going to talk a whole lot throughout this. I'm just going to kind of watch. Basically, same install procedure as stock. And uh, so, yeah, if you, if you never tore a bike apart or anything like that, uh, I would recommend having a professional do this for you if you're not very mechanically inclined but like i said it's, it's really not that difficult it's it looks a lot scarier than it really is there's not a whole lot to it it's pretty simple so yeah let's get started
Breaking procedure for doing uh, the ham performance kit. First, once you get it up and running or whatever, and it's able to start, you do a 10 second heat cycle run where you just start it up, let it run for 10 seconds, and stop it. Uh, they specify to use a timer, don't guess. Then you do 20 seconds, let it cool down. 30 seconds, let it cool down. Then 40 seconds, which I just did not too long ago, and just cooled down. Then you want to do a drive of a little less than a mile or so, let it cool down. So I'm going to take it around my block in my neighborhood. And then you want to do a couple miles, and then you want to do 50 miles, and then you want to do 500 miles of uh, easy driving, stuff like that. You can get on a little bit, but not not much. You don't want to, I think it says keep it under like 3,500 RPM or 4,500 RPM. And then you want to change the oil and they recommend getting a dyno tune so then you should be ready to rock pop some nasty wheelies <laughs> so we're going to take it around the block real quick and uh make sure i pieced together this chain conversion kit for it too uh i found the right sprock transmission sprocket for it and uh got the uh the rear sprocket from low brow they sell the conversion kits i just didn't really want to spend that much on it i saved about 60 bucks just piecing it together so did a little bit of odds and ends to it this time but it's completely cold right now these are just from the initial settings i haven't really even gotten into tuning it yet uh just doing the braking cycles now i want to drive it for a little bit and check the spark plugs see what they're like before trying to fine tune it but completely cold right now chokes out a tiny bit just a tiny bit of gas and this is a cold start how fast it starts up 